I've been doing this all my life. I've been drawing since I was a kid. Originally, I had wanted to draw comic books. I picked up pottery at the Institute of American Indian Arts. There I met a Hopi lady named Lolama. She showed me how to dig clay, how to process clay, how to polish. She set me in that direction. And over the years, through uh, experimentation, I honed my craft. I don't want to say perfect it because I'm still a student. And I think there's one thing that I did learn from Lolama is that you're always a student and you're always learning. I started as a sculptor um, and a traditional potter, but I'm very uh, adamant and proud of the fact that I do contemporary pottery. I'm not a traditional Pueblo male, so it doesn't make sense that I would do traditional Pueblo pottery. Within that context, I do do Pueblo pottery. There is paradigms and a certain mindset and um, do's and don'ts, what we, is appropriate and what is inappropriate within the paradigms of Pueblo pottery, and I adhere to those. So I'm a contemporary Pueblo potter. The narrative both stems from the members pottery and Marvel Comics. It's a narrative on the absurdity of human nature, and there's no shortage of information or material there. In my pottery, in my life, I come from a mixed background. My mother was an uh, Anglo lady from Berkeley. Um, my father was a coach D Indian. And I think ultimately, when I reflect on it, I think that that's what makes my pottery what it is today. And it shows in the work. So you look at it and it looks at first like a Pueblo pot, but when you look harder at it, you would say, oh, it is a Pueblo pot, but there's also a narrative to it that is universal. I'm Diego Romero, contemporary potter. I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico.